<laughs> and now we'd like to be joined if we could uh, at the, for a countdown. Three, two, one, countdown! <laughs> Yeah, during the last uh, authorization bill called Safety Lou, uh, Darlene Hooley came to me and she had a great idea. She said, look, I mean, we've, we've rebirthed streetcars in, in Portland. Uh, how about if we could take it a little further and make the streetcars in America? And I said, it's a great idea. And uh, so at the end of the bill, I was able to put in one of those things. They call it earmark. Uh, not all earmarks are bad. In fact, most are meritorious, which gave the city of Portland $4 million to go out and do a competitive bid uh, for a Made in America streetcar, here's the product. Uh, an improvement on the European design, uh, something that I believe within a very short period of time we'll be exporting uh, back to Europe. They, they got the streetcar from us originally. Uh, we lost the technology. Now we're going to, we're rebirthing it and we're going to improve on it. Uh, they're already talking about battery uh, installations, being able to put uh, energy back into the grid when they come downhill. A lot of very exciting uh, future for this. Well, part of the authorization uh, which we're working on includes a, a complete streets, uh, which would deal with both pedestrian, bike, uh, and transit options, whether it's fixed guideway like streetcar, could be BRT, partial fixed guideway, it could, it could, be, it could be bus. No, I think I'm, I'm going to walk back. So, yeah. So, uh, so anyway, I, you know, I, but it will, it will still be uh, people are going to have to be involved at the local level. We're not going to dictate from the federal level uh, down to here what routes, you know, get what kind of uh, vehicles, but we're going to give them benchmarks to meet in terms of people's access to the system, uh, transit options, and also mandates uh, to enhance livability with complete streets and other things I think would address some of those concerns. One of the things we have in the climate change legislation, the energy bill that passed in Congress before we recessed, was an opportunity to use some of those resources to be able to help green the transportation infrastructure, specifically for areas that are going to not necessarily be massive capital projects, but need federal match, need to be able to stretch. We're also working to develop in the new reauthorization the concepts of complete streets. Uh, our goal is to be able to have a full menu of orphan highways, complete streets, um, uh, being able to help soften the urban environment and make these opportunities available everywhere. Last but not least, my goal would be to develop a program so that communities can earn the right to extend streetcar lines by doing the things on the ground that will make them successful. I am absolutely familiar uh, with uh, a bike boulevard uh, along Sullivan's Gulch. Uh, I have uh, run and cycled that myself. Um, I think if we had an opportunity to convert that to a bicycle expressway, um, it would be transformational in terms of our east-west uh, uh, travel patterns. It would boost cycling and I think it would be one of the most dramatic examples of what is possible and it's very high on my priority. <laughs>